Hello everyone, welcome to our chapter Morphology of Flowering Plants. Uh, in previous session, we discussed the structure of the stem, then the root and the advantages or the means modifications of the root, modifications of the stem. And we discussed also the structure of the leaf, the leaf having the following structure, stipule, petiole, leaf base, etc. And the, on the basis of the leaves, the type of leaves are simple leaf or compound leaf. On the compound leaf, the leaves are again classified into pinnately compound leaf and the palmately compound leaf. And the arrangement of the ribs, uh, the venation, that is known as venation. It is two type, reticulate venation and the parallel venation. Reticulate venation is the feature of dicot plant and parallel venation is the feature of the monocot plant. Then we discuss about the arrangement of leaves that is alternate, opposite and the world. For the alternate, opposite, hibiscus, mustard, sunflower leaves are example for the alternate phyllotaxy. And then the opposite phyllotaxy which is seen in Goa and the world phyllotaxy which is seen in Alstonia. And the modifications of leaves. Okay, so the, that this portion is also we discussed the modifications of the leaf. Modifications of the leaf means tendril, spine, fleshy leaves, fill load and the picture. First you is tendril. In pea plant, the leaflet of compound leaf is, the leaflet of the compound leaf is modified into tendril. In the case of pea plants, okay, pyrinde uh, legal. In pea plant, the leaflet of the compound leaf is modified into tendril. Then the next one is spines. The leaves of the leaves are reduced to spines in the case of cactus. Example for a cactus plant that is opentia. Okay. So on this opentia, the leaves are reduced to spines as a defensive structure. The next is fleshy leaves. So the food stored as fleshy leaves in case of the onion and the garlic. Then the next one is uh, the next point is. Uh, that one is filload. Filload type arrangement that is seen in, in the case of the, the uh, asparagus. The next one is pitcher plant. Pitcher leaf lamina is a modified as a pitcher to catch the insects. Pitcher plant is an example for the insectivorous plant. Okay, so example for this insectivorous plants are Nepenthes, Venus flytrap. Nepenthes and Venus flytrap. In Nepenthes, the petiole is modified. The petiole portion is modified into tendril and the lamina is modified into pitcher. Nepenthes and Venus flytrap are insectivorous plants. So these are the modifications of the leaves.